Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that was actually kind of the catalyst for me wanting to make a YouTube channel. When I thought about and toyed around with the idea of maybe like sitting down to film a YouTube video, I brainstormed a huge list of video topics that I thought I can do these. I didn't want to start with just one video and then have to struggle to brainstorm up a bunch. So the very first thing I wrote down on my list was finding the perfect Tiffany blue nail polish, because this is something that I have been doing for five <laughs> years or so in my regular life. Um, ever since I picked up Essie's mint candy apple and I just thought, oh, this kind of reminds me of that Tiffany blue color, which I guess any like Robin's egg style blue kind of does. I just thought to myself, well, I gotta find the perfect one. I have to match the Tiffany blue because I do love that color. And so I spent years just buying every single polish I found that was kind of even remotely close. I bought Tiffany's themed polishes or, or I guess rather breakfast at Tiffany's themed nail polishes because there were two collections that did come out with breakfast at Tiffany's themed polishes. Um, I bought one that is, I think, supposed to be the exact color. But despite buying all these polishes, I never actually sat down and compared them all. And I never actually sat down and compared them to the actual Tiffany Blue. So that's what we're going to do today. I have 11 polishes that I grabbed kind of on site or ones that first came to my mind when I thought like, oh, what is my go-to Tiffany Blue polish? And I've got a swatch wheel. We're gonna swatch them all out on the swatch wheel, see which ones, you know, look the closest to. I have a, a box from Tiffany's as well. And we can kind of compare and see, do any of my polishes actually match Tiffany Blue? Have I deluded myself into buying 11 nail polishes that are nothing like Tiffany Blue solely on the premise that they do look that way? So we're gonna see together and I will tell you the results at the end. All right, so here we are. We're going to swatch these 11 polishes I have from, I think, eight different brands. I just painted my nails. So what we're gonna do is swatch on this swatch wheel here, and we're just gonna go right around and probably two coats of everything. And then once they've dried, we're going to compare them to this stuff right here. Now, I don't know if you can see on camera, I feel like these are just slightly different tones, the box versus the bag. I think it's just a matter of material. Um, and even the the drawstrings on the bag are a slightly different color. So let's just see if any of these 11 polishes match any facet of uh, Tiffany packaging, I guess. So up first is the polish that started it all for me. This is Essie's Mint Candy Apple. Um, you can already tell right from the get-go, this is probably not it in the bottle, but we're going to test it out just to see. And this is, while I love the color of this polish, this formula is so bad. <laughs> it's not very uh, self-leveling. You can see already like how streaky it is, and that's not due to the age or anything of the polish. It has just always been that way. So we will do one coat of that and come back. Up next, I also grabbed, I grabbed some like more green leaning and some more blue leaning because it's hard to kind of tell with these types of colors, but this is Color Pops Dust a Dream. And again, I think this one is like way too green. It's weird because when I see this one on its own, I think that it's more of a blue, but then when I see it, oh wow. When I see it next to a blue, uh, I'm like, oh no, that's definitely green. So I grabbed it just kind of for fun, but I really don't think this is going to be the one. It's definitely more green leaning. And you can't even get this polish anymore outside of like maybe a D stash. Once Color uh, ColourPop ran out of these, I think they just discontinued them. Next up, we have two from Orly that look almost identical in the bottle. This one is Fresh Start from their Breathable line. 
And then we have Happy Camper, which I just got in their um, their color pass. And I'm going to be posting, I think that video is going to go up before this one. But if not, I am posting that video. And this, yeah, these are also just a little bit more green leaning, I think. This one's very light. And then we will do Happy Camper right next to it. I guess it's kind of crazy for someone to have this many iterations of one color in their collection, but it's like, have you ever just had that one color that you really want? You want to get it perfect. And I guess for me, it's just been this color, which is funny because like, I don't really have a favorite color. I love all colors, but I just feel like Purple would probably be my favorite color, if anything. Yet, here I am looking for a blue. Up next, we have I Believe in Manicures. This is from the OPI uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's collection. Now, when I first saw this come out a couple years ago, I didn't even buy it because I saw the swatches online and I was like, that doesn't even look anything remotely like a Tiffany blue. Like, why the hell would you put a blue in a Breakfast at Tiffany's collection, and it's not a Tiffany blue. I don't, it, it's kind of odd to me, but they put it in there, so I, I ended up buying it specifically for this video, because I felt like it had to be in there, right? Um, Up next, we have a couple China glazes. Is this lighting okay for you guys? I'm not sure. Let me adjust. It might be too bright. I'm not sure. I guess I'll know when I edit this, huh? Yeah, but anyways, China Glaze, we have for Audrey, which this one is part of the China Glaze Breakfast at Tiffany collection. And I think that this one is probably closer to what we're looking for than, yeah, actually, honestly, that one, just on that first coat, looks way, way closer. This one actually might be the winner. We'll see. Um, I was surprised. I just feel like that OPI one is so way off base. And then the other China Glaze that I pulled is All Glammed Up. And I did buy this one again specifically because I thought it might be that Tiffany blue. But seeing it amongst a bunch of blues, it actually looks more like a green. So I clearly don't know my colors. But man, I do love China Glaze. China Glaze, I think it makes up the biggest part of my collection. They just do a lot of fun stuff. Up next, we have another uh, color challenge problem. This one's called, this one's even called Sea Green. Why did I pull this one thinking it looked like a Tiffany blue? Well, we are gonna swatch it anyways. These bottles are, if you watched my uh, Topic Tuesday about my least favorite bottle shape, You'll know I hate these bottles with a burning passion. Even though I love the polishes, they're super cheap, they're really pretty good, that bottle is just so easy to knock over. <laughs> Next, we have another twofer. We have two from Zoya. Again, probably this one is a little bit greener. This is Tiana, which I wonder if they named it after like Princess Tiana from the Disney movie. Uh, that would be cool because that was a great movie. And then Neely. So we are going to do Tiana first. And again, that one, like I said, a little bit on the green side. Uh, don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, that one's way green. What the heck, Hillary? Come on. I don't know, man. My brain is just not working. And let's do Neely. This swatch wheel is looking a lot more different than I thought it would. I thought most of these would be pretty close, but I am apparently color. This is why I have to buy so many nail polishes, because I don't know what colors are what. Um, do you think anybody would buy that? <laughs> so the one that I thought would be the most accurate or most spot on color wise, uh, I saved for last. This is a picture polish. And I, I just figured like indie or like smaller brands would know better because they're always better with color. And I bought this one, you know, it says Diamonds with Breakfast, Tiffany by Picture Polish. And I thought this has to be it. So I feel like it's going to be between this 
and that china glaze but now i'm looking at that china glaze and it looks like it dries way darker than the original application maybe i'm crazy but let's check out tiffany which if this one's not it then like what would be you know i think i saw once that uh the tiffany blue coloring as far as like mixing the color it is copyrighted or something like that i watched a documentary on you know tiffany's the the jewelry store and they were talking about that and how i believe they had it specifically mixed for them and i don't know i just thought that was pretty wild to just own a color you know that seems a little bit bad maybe <laughs> all right so here's what it looks like on those first coats um yeah i don't know it's it's these ones seem too like light blue and then a lot of these ones on this side just seem too green yeah it's tough to tell all right um let's just bring in the box here we'll set this guy down Yeah, I don't know. I think we'll have to do a second coat just to, to tell. So for these second coats, I'm just going to speed through. We're going to go in the exact same order and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at the end result. Okay, so now that we have our swatches, let's compare. So first up, we have Essie Mint Candy Apple, and that, I would say, is a definite no. We have ColourPop, uh, Dust a Dream, again, no. From the Orly Breathable line, Fresh Start right here, still a no. Man, I really can't eyeball to save my life. Uh, Orly Happy Camper. This is a newer one. Now, actually, I would say that one is really close to the box. Um, in real life, I don't know if you can see that in the camera. Not as close to the bag, but I think that that one is going to be one of our closest so far. Next, we have OPI, I Believe in Manicures. And, like, did they even try? What? Why did they do this? I don't know why this makes me so mad, but it's just like, this, this is not, this is nowhere near. And then from China Glaze, we have their one. It's for Audrey. Now that one, actually, I would say it's like a touch darker, but at least it actually matches. And then... I just grabbed China Glaze All Glammed Up. That one uh, is not as close, I would say, but, you know, it's in that same vein. Then we have Sea Green from Sally Hansen Insta Dry Line, which, are we surprised that the green isn't anywhere near Tiffany Blue? Because I guess I'm not anymore. Zoya's, uh, Zoya's Tiana is a, it's the greenest one I picked. Like, what the heck? Uh, and I knew this was a green. Like, I'm pretty sure it's described as a green on Zoya's website. Zoya Neely, which this one, it's like a green, but it kind of leans like gray, I guess. So that's a definite no. And Tiffany by Picture Polish. Now that one, it's, it's like almost... I, I would say that's as probably as close as I'm ever going to get 
to a Tiffany blue nail polish. So, whoops. So we've got Zoya's Tiffany, China Glaze for Audrey, which, you know, I would say that's not too far off. And Orly's Happy Camper. I think that those three are probably going to be the ones for you. Which, when you look at them in the bottles, when you look at them in the bottles, though, it's like, I don't know, they look like three different colors. Actually, these two look, these two look kind of close together, but... There's just something about this one that makes me want to say it is, it's almost a Tiffany blue. It's, it's, it's right there. So I would say these three are, if you're like me and obsessed with Tiffany blue, these are the ones you want. So what'd you guys think of this video? It didn't quite go the way I had expected it to. Um, I found kind of what I was looking for, but I did come away with two really big takeaways. And that is, um, I have no idea what blue is apparently, uh, because 50% of the polishes I chose were green. Um, and then my other takeaway is, my other takeaway is that why would you have a breakfast at Tiffany's nail polish collection if you're not going to include an exact, and I mean exact replica of Tiffany blue or like I don't know one shade lighter or darker so that you don't infringe on their copyright like why would you do that and I know somebody's gonna be like oh it's an homage but you know what no do not do not come at me with that because you need the Tiffany blue like that is the iconic thing that's like the whole like when I think of Tiffany's the first thing I think of is that kind of Robin's egg blue the first thing I think of when I hear the word Tiffany is this color. Like, this is it. And then, you know, of course, I think of like diamonds and silver and all that. But this first, jewelry later. So why would you not? Why would you not do that? I don't know. I'm, I'm fuming, as you can tell. But I found three polishes that I feel are relatively close. Uh, I don't know if I have the authority to say that. Because clearly, as you saw from my swatches of the polishes I chose, I, I can't figure out color to save my life. But let's just review. The three colors that I think are the closest are Orly's Happy Camper, which just came out in their new Color Pass collection. This is their... Um, okay, I literally just had to look the collection name up because I couldn't remember. Uh, this is from... The new Day Trippin' collection. So it's kind of got like a retro 70s vibe. But I feel like this is a really close match. Um, China Glaze for Audrey. Uh, this is a <laughs> Breakfast at Tiffany's polish. So good job, China Glaze, for keeping on theme. OPI, take notes. Uh, I don't know if you can get this anymore. I imagine probably not, you know, from China Glaze directly, but these stashes, um, some of the older nail polish websites like Trans Design, uh, I think 88 Beauty, stuff like that, they sell sometimes older collections until they sell out because they're stockists. So if they if they don't sell their entire stock, it just sits there until it sells. So that's I think where I got this one. And, you know, this one is pretty close. I think that this one was just, like, a hair darker. But if somebody saw this on your nails and you weren't, you know, anywhere near the Tiffany store, then they would never know the difference. And then finally, the one that I think was probably the closest, and I think I'm also biased just because it's named Tiffany, but is Tiffany by Picture Polish. And I think that this is probably the closest to a dead-on dupe that I'm ever going to find. I need to stop buying this color nail polish, which is funny because I just placed a color club order and I think that I put a polish that is this color in there. So if you ever see me in a store trying to buy this kind of a color, slap me. Just slap it out of my hands. Tell me to walk away because this, I have it. I have it already. I don't need any more. You saw I have like 
11 polishes that fit the bill and that isn't even all the polishes I have that are that color they were just the ones that I thought were the closest so let me know down below if you liked this video what you thought of it and also if I know I just said don't let me buy any more of these polishes but if you have a polish or know of a polish that is any closer or like is a dead-on dupe for Tiffany blue please just tell me in the comments just let me know I'm, I'm not gonna buy it I swear I won't buy it but I just want to know like is this the best there is or am I missing something so just let me know down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to check my subscription or my description box. I do have a link to my Twitter and my Instagram where I post just swatches and things like that. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.